Yeah, what's good everybody? I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 video. Um today things are a little different. Um it's not just me. Um I got part of the sales squad here. I got Trey, Chase, and Raunchy here. And we want to talk to you guys about NBA 2K21 covers and pre-order content. So uh first and foremost, if you've been living under a rock, the last three days have been argumentative over social media a lot of people have been having problems with some of the cover athletes that got announced saying that other players deserve it just because of stats um and not popularity also um today was a big day because we finally found out about the pre-order content and what is to come for nba 2k21 on ps4 and ps5 so chase are you ready he's not ready Come on, man damn you took long God damn! What's your yeah. question? Get hype, bro! Yeah, get lit! Yeah, yeah get hype, cause you're, I'm not. You know what they're doing to us? <laughs> get hype, bro! Let's go, chat! So hold on. Let's. Uh, so first of all, let's let's get let's let me ask the real questions. How okay. much we talking and what's the bonuses? Okay, so let's check out the pre-order bonuses for a moment, y'all. Pull them up. All right, so NBA 2K21 on current generation, that's PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PC, and the Stadia will be getting the game on September 4th, the day before my birthday, for $60 for the standard edition, all right? Now, they're not, they not doing what they used to do with giving us three different editions. They're going to give us the 2K21 Mamba Forever edition for $99. What does that do? Now, what that does, that gives you a standard copy for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. You don't you don't get another Mamba edition when you pour it over. Now there's a progress carryover. Um they basically they're saying that my team uh, cross progression is a thing like the my team points the tokens the cards okay. you know what i'm saying but uh we yeah we ain't heard nothing about uh my players we ain't heard nothing about my part we ain't heard what, nothing about my career huh they better not i'm going to spaz and I'm going to have an aneurysm or whatever i don't know what they i'm going to spaz if the if my team community has all of their shit go from generation to generation and the park community does not i'm going to spaz i will make the longest rage video of all time well make it now make it now i don't want to do that on speculation okay trey trey huh? let me just ask you something you think that we're gonna be able to carry over <laughs> I, 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 well, Runch, I'm gonna tell you right now. I didn't think that my team was gonna be able to carry that shit over too. So if my team is doing it, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Trey, go keep no. waiting. Then. Don't care yourself. Exactly. You know what they I'm, doing? I'm telling you now. I'm I'm feeling <laughs> anger in my chest, and I don't want to yell right now. So I'm gonna wait. So let me ask you this. Okay. Why are they selling the Mamba edition for the Nintendo Switch, Stadia, and PC if there's no next gen version for those those platforms? So you can get that 100K VC in the boost. They doing it, y'all know. I'm about. Can I say it? Huh. No. All right. It ain't, it ain't time yet. It ain't time. It ain't time. It ain't time. Whatever you say. So oh, listen. I follow up. Look now. This <laughs> this is this is insane, right? So we've known for the last, I would say, what three years that 2K has had a cloud system where a lot of information, like your my players, everything like that, your save game data, whatever the case may be, everything has been on a cloud on. that 2K can actually go into and save and and bring back for you if you somehow delete it, right? Now, mm -hmm. what they're saying is they have a shared VC wallet. Any earned or purchased VC will be shared between console generations. That's from X. Xbox One, the Xbox Series X, and PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. I'm sorry. I can't wait to share my my five VC I earned from the incentives on <laughs> the next gen platform, bro. Thank you, 2K. That was very considerate of you. 
I wonder if we're gonna get a 1.6 uh, bonus again for playing on Hall of Fame. I don't, I don't know. That's 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 gonna be 1.3. Watch. That's another do video. You, do but, you know how lit it's gonna be when you go and spend 10 minutes in your mic court and you can transfer that VC that you earned from doing that over did, to the PS5? You did 10 I can't wait. Made a shot. Now, 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 listen. I can't wait. This let me let me get you guys some little bit more info on the next gen version okay. for for the Mamba. Uh, portion look they say that 2k21 for next generation is built for next gen unbeatable graphic fidelity two second load speeds new gameplay features and expanded game modes now if you pre-order and purchase the 2k21 mamba forever edition from next gen you get the standard edition on playstation 4 or xbox one Thoughts? What? Why wait, the hell do I care about having it? Uh, so if I, if, so if, me, wait, 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 wait. You telling me if 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 I buy the Mamba edition on PS5, I get this the, the which, what edition on, on PS4? Standard. Hold on though. Let's let me let's make sure we we, we got this right. So if you pre-ordered the Mamba edition, does that entitle you the current gen version? So you basically still get that at launch until no. the next gen version no pre-order will not matter you have to purchase that copy so let me break it down because a lot of people have been going on twitter going absolutely insane about this if you pre-order the mamba edition for ps4 you get a standard edition on ps5 vice versa xbox series x and xbox one if you pre-order and purchase the mamba edition for next gen you get a standard edition copy for ps4 or xbox one so if you go next gen and you say you know what i, don't, I want the old kobe uh cover i want i don't want the young kobe you won't get that standard for this gen <laughs> you ain't getting it you ain't getting the young kobe cover at all if you get the young kobe cover you're getting zion's cover you ain't getting old kobe cover now this this is crazy because a lot of people this this gives people that oh i think i should buy a physical console because you don't know what's going to happen with digital because i don't know what they're going to do i don't know if they got their foot on digital neck or what but it just makes sense to get a physical copy if you want the young Kobe or the old Kobe cover. Because just think about it, man. Even though a lot of people say, man, I'm skipping this game. I'm not playing it. Uh, uh, most people that are going to get this cover is going to get the Kobe cover, either young or old. So, you know, Dame and Zion, we love you. But I'm going to be honest. People really ain't going to be rocking with y'all cover like that. Everybody going to want the Kobe cover, especially, you know, in the light of things, what happens to the man, you know what I mean? RIP rest of the day you feel me so I, I just I don't know man I don't know the way the way I feel about it honestly I feel like if you get the Mamba edition you should pour it over to the Mamba edition you feel what I mean same with standard yeah as, absolutely and like for them to not port over and for you you spending a hundred dollars and for them not to give you no respect and to give you the same incentives for the next pre-order is just absolutely ridiculous. It's criminal, my nigga. And for that, for that, with that being said, I just now made my decision. I'm a Kobe fan. I'm not buying a single one of those Kobe covers. They not getting my money, bro. And it's a shame that I have to do that, bro. But that's ridiculous. Can it's we... ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous for you to uh, buy a hundred dollar version, and then you give me a standard version in the beginning. And then if we being honest with all the 2k um, pre-order equipment, most of it don't even have a significant value to me because they give you my team stuff like that. And I don't care about it, bro. So it's, it just, for me, I might do the same thing that I did this generation. I'm gonna get the standard edition and then just buy my own individual VC because you might end up saving money buying VC because they only give you a hundred K in the pre-orders joint. So can we establish something? Cause you, you naturally, there's always apologists in everybody's comments when somebody has an issue that they address about a video game's policy. The question is going to be, well, you think you should get a free version? You don't see all these damn games that got Xbox smart delivery. Ported over. Yes. And over the, even if the, the PS4 version, some of the games you get for free on PS5, you don't remember last gen and there was a bunch of games that only either cost, it was either free 
for the upgrade or it was ten dollars. So I don't want to hear all that. Oh well, y'all think y'all should just get shut your shut your mouth. Now listen, Other companies are doing it across the board. So I, you know, people having to pay a hundred dollars and then getting a downgraded version, and we don't really know what that that player uh, progression might be. We might have to start all over. I wouldn't be surprised if we had to start our our, our journey all over with our character. I would not be surprised in the least bit. Now, from from my experience, pre order content has always been favorable to my team players. The only thing that my park players or my career players has gotten out of that is boost. And it's not even enough boost to get you through your mm. first couple games as a 60 overall or 85 if you buy your way. It's, it's the boost, the VC, and they also give us clothes, but they give you clothes that nobody wears, bro. They give you clothes that nobody <laughs> wears, and they give you VC earnings that doesn't even equate to if you just bought a pack. When you get yeah, the that's, game, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like last this for 2K20 and 19, I just bought the game regular and then end up spending the money on VC because I would have gotten more. I get more during that than if I was just a pre-order because all you get is 100K. Yeah. What you gonna do with 100K and 2K? No. That shit gone because you gotta spend some on your character. And let's be honest, I'm not walking around with no brownie shirt. I gotta get a little bit of drip. <laughs> It was how much That's was the upgrade fact. your character like one eighty? Um, no, uh, I think it was total, probably yeah. like two ten total. <laughs> yeah, like like it was it was something crazy because like not only did you need to upgrade the attributes, you had to go in and get all the the moves and stuff. The dribbles, oh my, uh, yo, oh, people on, brought dribbles like moves. man, dribble like jump shots. Yeah, we we all had like curry jump shots starting out the game. You know what I mean? So like that was the only free jump shot a lot of people got. 38 I believe was free as well but like man once you start like getting into trying to figure out what jump shot you want dribble move oh the dunk pack be a slasher Bruh. be a slasher Yo, and go out there and try to get <laughs> you, you, <laughs> slasher is by far the most expensive build in the game Yo, right. you spent 15 bands on dunk animations bro easy easy <laughs> oh man but listen uh, the way I feel about it honestly like I said Whatever version you get needs to port over. If you got standard, hey, you got Dame, Lillard, and Zion cover. I, I feel like Kobe should port to Kobe, but I do feel like, you know, buy one, get one free is cool, but you, you shouldn't even have to use that as a marketing tool. You should just give people the game for free that purchased it for the last gen. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm, like I'm, sitting, here thinking, else bro, I'm, yeah. I'm sitting here thinking, and I'm like, bro, like it really just hit me, yo. We gotta pre-order this just so we can get it for the next gen. When other games are having, they they like, yo. If you buy that game, when you get the next version of the game, it's automatically there. And those games don't make nearly as much money. Two K makes. Madden is mm -hmm. doing it where you only have to buy the game once. Yeah, they're this, doing the port 2K as well. Two K is easily, oh. easily the most greedy gaming corporation out there. These dudes is ridiculous. Let me let me just double check on that, but I I'm, I. Yeah, EA Sports will allow for digital man 21 buyers to upgrade for free. Yep. So, so they're doing it, and it's going to be the same scenario where they have the current and next-gen version of the game. So I don't want to see anybody saying that, oh, they, it's too expensive for them and blah, 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 when other people are doing it and they have similar game modes so and like a similar fan base and, you know, like the kind of money that they spent. We're not doing this. So now so, we, um, we have uh, we have two more things to talk about within this pre-order stuff. But uh, go ahead, Trey. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm about to say, like, so I went to Twitter and complained about that. 2K, the base game is listed at sixty nine ninety nine. And then somebody they told me and I don't I don't think that they meant no harm for this. So I, I don't want to disrespect. bro. he was like, well, it's rumors that the other games are doing that. And that's that's basically gonna be industry standard. So 2K, if you are going by industry standard, mm -hmm. there are other games offering their game for free for the next gen. If you buy the game, not pre-order, if you buy the game. So if base, it's obvious that you're not going off industry standard. So why are you charging us seventy dollars for this game for two months? Imagine. Come on, bro. 
Because once, once you know, once the new consoles come out, if people are getting those, they won't be touching that last gen game. No, sir. Not at all. So I, I don't I, like it. I, I believe. I believe that since the next gen has went up ten dollars, I believe that there either has to be something that is going to happen with the way the console is going to come out. Maybe they got like some inside news on how much the actual consoles are going to be and what it, what it, what is it, the economy that will shift. Or are they just doing this out of, you know what, let's get an extra 10. There's not, here's the thing though, bro. There's not going to be that many next gen consoles for the first couple months. Like, you know what I mean? Early adopters, it's very limited supply. So it's not like everybody is going to be on next gen and that they need to do this. There's only going to be, you know, that it's going to be a lot less people on next gen. So I, I really don't understand why they feel the need to basically charge people the way they're charging them, you know, to get two versions of the game. Now let's. So even, go ahead. Let uh, go I was going to say. I was going to say. The the oh man, it's just now I'm starting to rethink everything. So all right, you know what? Go ahead and finish your statement. Cause I want to move on because I, I don't want to rant because you know how well, I do. It is well because they're basically the they were saying that PS5 was going to have even less quantities for pre order than they had for the PS4. So it was going to be even way less people on PS5. So I don't know why you know they because it's not there's going to be so few people compared to the current gen why they can't just do standard edition upgrades or just like pretty much whatever you buy you get to just upgrade for free but whatever go ahead uh i was gonna say do you think that it's a contractual thing like in order to pay zion for this cover or that's not a problem they make a lot of money from my mm. team and, I know they have to and we and, and, and all that stuff but our as customers for any industry it is not our like it is not our concern it's not the consumers the, the cost of business is for somebody to run their business that's just right. not you know what i mean that's just not how things work right. and we didn't tell them to have uh, uh the two cover athletes for the base game so you shouldn't put that on us but yeah it's not mm. it's not i mean it's really not on us you know what i'm saying like, right the consumer shouldn't have to pay for nope. the company's uh what nope. uh, what 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 uh What's the word ambitions? I'm looking for? Oh. Not not ambitions. Um, like skipping a step. Uh, cut corners. Yeah, co corner cutting. You know what I mean? Because right. like they, they, that's what it seems like to me. Like they make a lot of money in these modes. Ultimate team, my team. Those modes. You know, these companies are doing very well from these modes, man. It, it shouldn't fall back on us because they weren't making that kind of money in the past. But you know, they start. They got a taste of that money, and um, you know, it's pretty good. So you know, now we're kind of paying for it. Now, uh, let's talk about the final thing with the pre-order bonus before we hop into a couple other things. <laughs> PC. <laughs> so, um... Yeah it's, yeah, it's over, man. It's over, man. <laughs> what it's looking like... <laughs> So um, I put out a tweet earlier today um, saying that, uh, you know, NBA 2K21 will, um, next gen will not be on PC. Right. And a lot of people was in the comments saying, imagine, imagine saying that when PC could just upgrade its graphics and everything like you that. You think 2K doing this shit when they don't care for this platform, when, when I have been making videos over here for six, seven months and they have not fixed their anti-cheat. You think that they are going to develop one version of NBA 2K and then come out with another version during holiday season? season i highly doubt it i highly doubt that and you if you saying it you are a person that has not played on pc because the, the level of neglect that they do for pc is absolutely ridiculous you're talking look look here you're talking out of uh what are you out of term yeah. you don't know about pc pc get patches later than everybody when you can easily just patch pc it never got my player nation <laughs> pc don't even have my player nation yeah they, they don't even have a legend wall it's, it's plenty not, of things that they're missing. They're not going to give them two versions. It's not worth it for them financially to to give them two versions of the game. We knew this though, but yeah, it, bro, me and Chase have already talked about. It. We was like, yeah, it's not going to happen. We just hope for the best. So the the way that I see it, you know, um, I wanted to respond to this guy, but um, you know, sometimes you know you you, you get so caught up in the other uh, mentions that it kind of went off to the wayside. But the way that I, I feel about it, you can't say that. 2k on pc which is current gen uh, it's a current gen build and they're offering new game modes and and they, or i'm sorry expanded game modes and new gameplay features on another gen and 2k won't divulge any resources to do that for pc as well if anybody out there thinks 
that they can somehow get the next gen version of 2k that's on xbox series x and ps5 onto pc somehow or even upgrade the pc version from current gen to next gen on your own good luck because it, it, uh, it ain't gonna happen i'm gonna put it straight like this i hope that i'm wrong and may, look it look there is a slight slight chance that i am wrong i don't want to act like i know you know what i'm saying right but i'm just going based off of experience and once you see how they have treated this game this year what evidence do you have to make you think that they're going to give you two versions because you want to know why I can go based off evidence and I can go based off the past. 2K14 on PC, they could have did exactly what bro said they were going to do. But guess what? If I want to play 2K14 on PC, I am playing the PS3 version of it. It's not the one that you've seen LeBron in that commercial. It's mm -hmm. not that. Right. They didn't come out with two versions. They let PC have the, the PS3 version the entire year. And, you know, it's, you know, it's quite, you know, it's because people, they don't really want to engage in, in what people say. So they'll start saying, start deflecting like, like i feel like the comment that says well who cares about pc is coming even though other games other publishers support the, the pc platform with next the, the people that, that paid their money care about that. it yeah but, but modern warfare and other games have a, a pc community that's still small but still gets the support the 2k that's so fair. Not too, and so. i also i also believe that um this is going to halt and probably punch crossplay right in the gut and make it not possible at all why why you say that because when the next gen get here, you know, we're going to have to be able to play at like PS5, play PS4, play PC. You know what I mean? Like if they even want to bring PC in. But you know what I mean? Like hey, just we don't a, want PC. We don't want cross. Right, of, of, course, yeah. of course, of course, of course, of course, the consumers don't. But from a 2K standpoint, if they ever want to put anything into PC and mm -hmm. divulge any time into it, they would. But just imagine stadia nintendo switch xbox one playstation 4 ps5 uh xbox series x all being able to play against each other well they, they could i mean they they i feel like more it'd be more possible to get ps5 versus xbox that'd probably be the yeah the thing to start with and then was, like down the road i was about to say um you bro i don't want to say you can tell but i'm just assuming bro they are not putting all of their funds into nba 2k 20 on the ps i'm sorry, I'm sorry 21 on the ps3 i'm sorry well i'm, I'm PS4. Yeah, nba 2k 21 on the ps4 and the xbox one they not doing it so if, if they were to try to do cross play across those that means that they're gonna put more revenue more stuff they're they not gonna do that Consoles so if they the if they are going to do cross play i think they're just going to start and basically put it like oh this is a next gen feature so we're gonna put it in the next yeah. gen games so okay. no, they, these, these current consoles don't have the architecture to, to put I mean, players i mean don't know, get me wrong uh um, 2k 2k playgrounds uh it's able to be played on xbox one and nintendo said, switch yeah like they already yeah, have that no come on listen that's that's just, listen <laughs> listen that's playable on both Bro. xbox one and nintendo switch you know what i'm saying <laughs> cross play so listen i'm just saying if they doing it for the little guys it's you, know, you know what I mean? Because that, but you're talking about NBA Playgrounds, which the, all that game, all the platforms are, have pretty much kind of the same architecture for the the network to run on. When you're talking about next gen, you don't. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not talking next gen. I'm talking about the the game that's coming out current gen that's on so many different platforms: Stadia, Switch, yeah. PS4, Xbox One. Why, sh you know what? I'm I'm rant. I don't want to rant. So I playgrounds, bro. That that already has crossplay. But That's what I'm saying. Um, it's so, it's, wait, not, it's wait. not cross gen though. No, you, you keep saying cross gen. I'm so, talking current gen. Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, uh, and the Stadia. Stadia. I'm yeah. talking about those four platforms right. should have crossplay. Do they have crossplay? Of course, not right now. It hasn't even been announced. Think, That's, yo, what, I'm saying. Like, That's wait, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like my Carter, thing is, I, I want I crossplay. I don't. I don't think. Like I, I do agree with you that they should have it. I don't think that they are going to do it because it's a whole lot of work for them to do it. Because each one of those games do not run the complete same. Let's say for an example, the PS4 and the Xbox One version is going to look and run way different, way better than the Nintendo Switch in the PC. And then also you got to factor in Stadia is ass, right? So <laughs> for them to try to run 
and try to put all of those together and try to make sure that everybody's having an enjoyable experience while one person isn't lagging. That's just a whole lot of work that they definitely not going to try to do. Nobody playing that game anyway. All right. Weird. So, all right. Um, <laughs> all right. So look, so look, let's move on. It's, these are real quick. I just wanted to watch the videos and get, get y'all thoughts and all that. Cause I haven't, I haven't watched them. Um, when the Dame cover had dropped, I was so busy going over all my social medias posting that. Then when Zion's came out, I was all over social media posting that and they dropped, Kobe's uh the artist that I guess uh created the covers or painted them they dropped a video for that too so I just wanted to watch them with you guys and get your thoughts on them so y'all trying to do that yeah, let's go bro let's yeah, go bro yeah. All right, so first up, you know what I'm saying? You got Dame Lillard cover, you know what I mean? Um everybody already knows what that looks like, but um let's go ahead and hop into the video though. Now the question everyone's asking Who's gonna be on the cover of 2K21? I decided it's me. Everything is game? Nah. Everything is dang. What time is it? It's dame time. <laughs> what a fine show. Three Lillard! Star averaging 24 and a half points per. Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard is correct. <laughs> It's raining buckets out here. Yeah, damn, damn. There's Damien, there's Lillard. On point all the time. Breathe, now count today. There's always Everything time. Everything is deep. <laughs> Who wants to play the new 2K21? I want to let you know as a host, you are absolutely you are terrible horrible. because we didn't hear any of that. Okay, I so look up the video myself. That's the video I, I want. I want to let iPod King Carter. Don't let him cut this out, chat. Nope. If he cut this out, I'm going to go be all in the comment section spamming. We didn't hear a single word of it. All we heard it coming from his earphones, and all we heard was. <laughs> so for the next trailer, for everyone that didn't experience it. Can you make sure we hear it, iPod King Carter, please? Either. All right. You, you really made me open up the, the. You really made me open up Twitter and go look for it myself. I couldn't enjoy it. You are a horrible host. So we, what you gonna do just, is stop sharing Y'all could have just screen. said, "Yo, I can't hear it." Then I would have restarted. I could have nah, edited that nah, out. No, nah, because, no, because 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 you you say you missed the one take. <laughs> you one take, yeah. Yep. All right. So y'all ready for the next one? Yeah, make sure you share your screen, please. Thank you. All right, but we're going to be going over the Zion cover and video. <laughs> gonna do it again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what y'all think about this, this, this hot fire? Next the cover, the cover cool. It's all right, bro. Mid? Come I, on. Now, yeah, I, I, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I don't really want to be too critical of covers, but I've seen plenty of people on social media that got in a bag with these covers. They could have did better, honestly. All right, bet. Let's go ahead and get into the video, though. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right. It is foretold. Greatness will walk among us. One unlike the rest. One of one. The size of a mountain. With heart to match. He'll move like lightning. Crash down like thunder. A presence that draws crowds from far and wide. The next generation. Everything is game. Um, now that that is done, I want to let you know that's that was really, really good. I felt like I was watching a bootleg movie, but let's go to the and next I, one, please. And I saw two audio sources playing at the same time. I don't know how that's going to sound. But I was like, oh, man. Listen. Cause you wanted you wanted you wanted Listen. this to work so badly because you're a horrible host. So you wanted this to work so badly, and now you got double. Oh, that's audio gonna be horrible! Playing. I forgot about that. You now have double audio playing in the video. Great job, iPod King Carter. <laughs> 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 so you know what here, do? Yo. It ain't no one take. You gotta cut. You gotta cut that out. Just no, I don't, bro. man. I'm out here in these streets. Oh my god, you gonna let that fly? I'm gonna let, let it fly. fly. All right, so oh, listen, look. It, I gotta, yo. Don't get me wrong. I, I know I'm know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. But that Zion trailer mid as fuck. What what kind of flack you gonna get for that trailer was garbage. <laughs> Yo, Horrible. they 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 had the cutout. Trash. They had the cutout from the little teaser in that trailer. 
Same dunk, same yell. One of a kind. <laughs> With the strength of a lion. Zion. Let's get out of here, bro. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I can't with y'all, man. All right, so listen, next next one up, man. We got the Young no. Kobe cover. What do y'all think about this painting, man? Y'all think it's y'all think it's fire? The slander will be tolerated. So that's you... heat. That's heat, bro. Um, I I seen somebody on Twitter saying it was trash, and like honestly, I feel like uh when it comes to two K, when it comes to covers, uh they 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 really cannot go like do anything right for a lot of people, bro. So even if they had like a go to cover. I think that right now it's just it's really it's into slander 2K and obviously for a good reason, but I don't see anything wrong with this cover. I think this is really heat, bro. All right, but let's move on to the next Kobe cover, the Mamba Forever edition. When he was waving goodbye, this cover this cover hit different. I ain't gonna catch. That's hard, bro. That's hard, man. If if I could get that as a um as like a poster, I'll definitely get that. Yeah, I was thinking like wallpaper type vibes. What y'all think? For sure, for sure, for sure. I can't believe that man gone, bro. It all, bro. All right, but uh, let's go ahead and hop into the Kobe painting. Y'all ready, guys? Yo, hold on, Carter. Before you go live, don't disrespect my goat, man. Don't you have two audios playing, man? So you're going to mute yourself, and I'm going to watch this on my own. Run to please link me. I no, you, no. Thank we get, no, we oh. watching it together. No, no, no. Ah! Together. Ch -ch 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 got the sauce, bitch. That that yeah, one see. that that was uh, you heard the Kobe chance at the end. I like it. Damn, I like it, man. fire, man. That's I listen, like it, man. Y'all gonna stop hating on my on my on my sources, okay? Well, I'm, I'm out here in these streets, man. I'm just trying to make you be great, man. Yeah, I like it. I might even love it. So, I hate it. any 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 last hot takes or thoughts or anything like that? Thoughts? Wait, Russ, you said you hate it. Yeah. You hate what? Oh, this ghetto setup that Carter got us doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, oh, that, no, that trailer, that trailer's fire. But all it is, the oh. double sources. You just, yeah. At this point, you disrespectful. Well, hey, let me Chad, ask you this. Rush, he, wanted, he didn't get to say what he thought. About what? Anything. Anything. God damn it. I mean, what is there to say? All right, next, man. What, you, ahead, what man. you going to do? 2K is buttering our buns. You hear me? Huh? <laughs> do you hear me? They're buttering our buns. What are you they're doing, us, Carter? Individual. A hundred dollar edition to get a seventy dollar edition. <laughs> you, <should've... laughs> you know ain't nothing carrying over. I didn't want to say this. I was gonna get upset, but now y'all want me to say it. Tell me upset. You should have left him in the corner, bro. Hundred dollars for the PS4 edition. They talking about VC that we purchased. It's gonna go over. I'm not buying nothing. I'm getting a hundred K VC. Ain't nothing coming back over. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to buy a hundred dollar edition, and I know I'm gonna have to buy another hundred dollar edition, and that game better not be trash. Now, Final question, yo. All right, so we all have two K accounts, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. The VC that people have on the current gen version is that going to transfer to their new their new platform? Hey, yo, Chase. Yeah, you was a I, slow. I so. You. You, you yeah, know. I'm sorry. I'm Chase, Chase. You have a problem. Yo, I, I ain't gonna yo chase. I ain't gonna lie. That, that was an L, man. We got that was L, but, and you and you really do this GMG talk. But, but hold on, wait. I, but I got one more question. So let's say I'm let's say I'm playing the PS4 version, mm -hmm. and I just somehow stumble, and I end up buying a stacked NBA 2K account. Will that stacked NBA 2K account be transferred over to right, the man. PS5? No, <laughs> it's it's gonna have stacked NBA 2K account. A stack and bitch we can't count but not be changed over. <laughs> hey, yo, that 95 with all them badges, you can say goodbye to that one, champ. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, we all gonna be Christmas news. <laughs> 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 Imagine.
legend. And I chased. <sighs> and there's something that you would like to say. No. Nah. Call, call it in the video. In the video. In the video. Yo, you're not gonna say it. Call yeah. it in the video. Hey Chase, they make you pay a hundred dollars and get a standard version on PS4. How do you feel about that? It's unfortunate. He wants you to say it, Chase. Don't don't you fall for it, King. Chase, they're making you pay a hundred dollars for the current gen version, and you gonna get the Zion cover. How do you feel about it? Stay strong, King. You guys are exaggerating. They're not making you pay for anything. You don't have to pay for anything, dude. You choose this life. Shut your mouth. Chase, no one told you to swipe that card, bro. Hey, Chase, they gonna make you spend four hundred dollars before November. It's not the neighborhood, bro. 